Hi there! So you have your designs ready for some Protopie magic. But first, you need to learn how to import those designs into Protopie Studio. We'll break the process down into four easy steps. Creating a new pie. Installing the Protopie plugin in your design tool. Importing assets. And making further edits in Protopie Studio. Now let's get cracking. Open up Protopie Studio. Make sure it's the up-to-date version to get the latest and only the best experience. You have it? Cool. Now create a new pie by clicking on the New Pie button on the dashboard. At the top of the screen, you'll find the device settings control. Here you can adjust the dimensions of your pie to match your design. And did you know we also have plugins to match your design tool of choice? Whether you're a fan of Figma, Adobe XD, or Sketch, we've got you covered. By installing each one of these, you can import your designs completely hassle-free. In this tutorial, we'll be using Figma. Click the Import button on the top left of the toolbar. Have you got it? Good. Now, hit the Figma option on the drop-down menu. You'll be taken to the Plugin Installation screen in the Figma community. Now, click Install to get the Protopie plugin for Figma. It'll take a few seconds, but the best part is, you'll only have to do it once. Let's go check out your design in Figma. Right-click anywhere on the canvas. Go to the menu and choose Plugins. Then, click Protopie. You should see the plugin window appear. You can choose to export entire frames or individual objects. If you pick entire frames, they'll be imported as scenes in Protopie Studio. But if you want to narrow down your focus and import a specific object, you can do that too. They will be imported into Protopie Studio's currently active scene. After selecting one or more frames, the plugin window will appear telling you which scene will be exported to Protopie Studio. Simply click the Export button. In just a few seconds, you'll be taken to Protopie Studio. And voila! Protopie should display a new scene with your design. Take a look at the layer panel to the left of your screen. Do you see it? Notice that all the layers share the same arrangement in Figma. Pretty cool feature, huh? Here's another one. Changing your Figma design and re-exporting the frame will update your scene in Protopie Studio, even if you've already added interactions. But wait a minute. Let's say you've made changes to some layers in Protopie Studio. Say you want to replace an image. What then? You don't need to worry about it, because these changes won't be overridden by another import. Importing individual objects instead of entire frames works a little differently. Let's see how. If you have multiple scenes in Protopie, make sure the scene you want the element imported into is active. In Figma, click the element you'd like to export. Look a little closer. Note that the Protopie plugin window now says one object will be exported. Hit Export. Some elements, like text layers and vector shapes, are imported as bitmaps by default. However, if you'd like to edit these natively within Protopie, we've got you covered once again. Simply hit the Make Editable button. Look at the Property panel on the right of the screen. See how it updates with additional editable properties. And we're all done. Wasn't that easy? Now you're ready to import your design into Protopie Studio. If you want to take your designs to the next level, check out the next tutorial. Until next time.